Hello, I'd like to show you a quick demo of a new alpha feature that uh, GitLab has put together. Uh, this is using GitLab as a Terraform state repository. Uh, so as I mentioned, this uh, features in alpha, but uh, I've put together a quick demo to uh, just test it out and, and see what uh, things I might run into. So let me give you a quick tour here. I've got a, a demo project called Terraform Demo. Um, I followed the documentation uh, which is uh, linked down here. Uh, but let's take a quick look at the backend configuration file here. So very simple. We're just going to declare the backend as an HTTP reference. So other than that, what do we need to do? Well, in this case, I'm only running Terraform in CI. So um, I don't, uh, well, I would use, I, I could do the commands on my own command line, but in this case, I'm just gonna do them through the GitLab CI YAML file. So let me open that up and take a look at what that looks like. So there's a couple of key things to look at here. So the first is the Terraform address. So we leverage the, um, the environmental variables that come down through CI to cr create this, uh, this URL. Uh, so the first thing it's gonna do is pull the, um, API URL, so this is gitlab.com slash uh, API slash v4, or something like that, uh, pro, uh, slash projects, my project ID, Terraform, state, and then the project name. So then what do we do with that information? So now we've got this new environmental variable, and now when we do a Terraform init, we're gonna pass the other uh, uh, options for this backend in via the command line. So Terraform init, backend config, and then I'm going to specify the address as just plain what we built up here. Then I'm going to give it a lock address. So it's the address slash lock, an unlock address. So the address slash lock again. The configuration, uh, backend username. This can be any string um, because we're using the uh, GitLab API token. So back in config password. So this is my GitLab API token, which I added in the project environmental variables. Uh, back in configuration, lock method equals post, unlock delete, and a retry mechanism. So all of this comes in via the Terraform init. And once that's established, then uh, we're good to go. And we can um, do a plan and destroy and apply, we can do everything as normal. Let me show you one alternate way to do this as well. I've got a separate project here. Here's the backend configuration. I've actually uh, put in most of the um, items directly into my, my backend.tf file. Um, in this case, I just wrote out the, the address, uh, the lock URL, the unlock URL, the username. In this case, I use TF because it doesn't matter. Uh, lock, but you do have to specify it. The lock method is post, delete, uh, to unlock, and retry wait. So it's the exact same thing that we did on the command line, but in this case, it lives in the repository in the backend.tf file. Now, in this case, what I do need to add in my Terraform, uh, uh, my CI is in a slightly different place for this project. Um, in this case, it is here. And when I do my Terraform init, in this case, uh, let's see here, get on Terraform backend. What I do need to do is I do need to pass along the password. So get uh, backend config password, but I don't need the big long uh, string that I would need um, if I were passing everything in on the command line. So can kind of go either way. In this case, we do need the password. Uh, in the other case, we, um, we need all of the strings. And then if you're coming from a different backend, you may need this dash reconfigure uh, to, uh, to, to tell your Terraform to uh, move from your previous backend configuration to a new backend configuration. There's more in the Terraform docs on that. Uh, I think that's it for now. Thanks. Have a great day.